Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire tablet, which is a 7-inch tablet that normally comes with a custom version of Google Android 2.3 Gingerbread. This version is running a custom version of Google Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. And that's the uh, first version of Android that's designed to run specifically on both phones and tablets, and it has a number of optimizations that really make it uh, play nicely with tablets, 7 inches or larger, or phones uh, with 5-inch or smaller screens. This particular version is an early build that has some bugs that still need to be worked out. It was released by Jackpot Clavin, who is a developer, uh, the first person who ported Cyanogen Mod 7 to run on the Amazon Kindle Fire. This is based on Cyanogen Mod 9, but there are some major things that are not working yet. I'll show you the, the main one is that although you can go to a file browser and take a look around at... file browser is being a little bit finicky. You can look at what's happening on the SD card, and you can go into the uh, settings on your device and also look at the SD card. And there's not an actual SD card, this only has built-in storage, but part of it gets treated as an SD card. So if we go to the storage section, you can see that we've got a gig of internal space and a couple of gigabytes of uh, USB storage, as it's referred to here. When you want to actually use different applications to do things like download, you get an error message that says an SD card is required to download files, uh, and that's because the applications in the system are not really recognizing it as an SD card proper. So uh, a lot of applications are not going to run, run correctly until that bug gets fixed. And the reason Jackpot Clavin actually released this build of uh, Android 4.0 is because he's looking for help from developers and hackers who might be able to figure out ways to fix that SD card error. That said, it gives us a pretty good look at what Android 4.0 looks like on the tablet, and it looks pretty good. Um, as you can see here, it supports widgets and applications on the home screen. Scrolling is pretty good. We can launch other applications. I don't have a lot of apps installed on here right now, but um, we saw the uh, ES File Explorer. Let's uh, just go to the Settings app. In settings, we take a quick look at About Tablet, and you can see that this is, well, it's kind of bright, so I don't know how well you can see it, but this is Android 4.0.3, based on CM Otter, uh, which is a version of Cyanogen Mod, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. Uh, we can look through the display settings, and battery settings, and application settings, and so forth. Now we can see a list of recently used applications, and we can scroll through those. Uh, I installed the Android Market on here, so basically I went ahead, and I've had this problem a couple of times where I've had apps force close. So uh, I went ahead and installed um, Ice Cream Sandwich, but then I went ahead and flashed the Google Apps package, which includes the Android Market, and I've had no trouble downloading applications onto here. Um, so let's see here, let's take a look at my apps. Uh, so, for instance, I want to install a video game. So just go ahead and click install. And so it's downloading and installing. And as it does that, let's uh, take a quick look at some of the other features. Uh, I installed beautiful widgets before. It works pretty nicely. Video doesn't really work all that well yet. Um, so, for instance, I tried to pull up some... videos from YouTube, and it takes a while from the start playing, and then once they do play, there are some graphical glitches. So overall, this isn't exactly a usable build. So you can see it just sort of skipped right ahead to the end there for some reason. So this isn't really a, a fully usable build of Android 4.0, but it shows what the operating system is going to look like. But certain things do work pretty well. So for instance, I went ahead and loaded the game here. And... Overall things are uh, pretty smooth and... Well, the loading graphics were pretty good, but sometimes it doesn't seem to register when I press a button right away.
So there you go. As a, a quick look at some of the things that you can do with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Again, this is an early build. It has some uh, rough edges. There are many things that are not working properly, but it is something that is available now for download, specifically if you might be able to help test it and figure out how to get things working properly. You can install this using the Team Win Recovery Project or Twerp 2.0 software which is the same way that you would install uh, Signage and Mod or other software. Um, you can find more information at lulaputing.com and at the XDA Developers Forum. Uh, you can download this onto a device that's running Twerp. You can install it using Twerp. And then uh, you can, before you do that, you should probably back up your device so that you can restore to the standard Amazon software or Signage and Mod 7 or something that's a little bit more stable and more usable, unless you're a developer who uh, really can help get the project moving ahead. Uh, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on the Amazon Kindle Fire and a look at what it can do and what it can't do just yet.